Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Inside A Gamer, welcome to Base 1, I'd like to thank the developer Pixie Throws for sending us a key, this was released on the 11th of May 2021, I'm a little bit behind on the keys, but this is a game that I'm very interested in bringing to the channel, um, any of you that remember me playing Meeple Station, there was quite a little bit of um, you know interest in that, this is like a newer version of Meeple Station. Okay, base one is a base building management strategy game with an RPG twist. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into the campaign. We're not going to do the tutorial. I've already done the tutorial away from this just to learn the basics. Uh, we're going to start with mission one. Earth, the cradle of humanity, our common home. You gave us life, food, and technology. We have grown. We have built shining cities to the heavens. We have risen up to great heights and fallen down to the depths. And we have traversed the path of war and suffering. Now, all this can disappear, turn to dust. Disaster struck us 14 years ago. Space seemed to be turned inside out. A huge, luminous funnel appeared near the moon. It grew rapidly turning into a giant whirlpool. It was a wormhole. It radiated with the strongest gravity. Huge chunks began to break off from the moon. They slowly floated through space and disappeared in the center of the funnel. The moon lost some of its mass. A wave of cataclysms passed over the entire surface of the Earth. Giant waves flooded many coastal cities. Sleeping volcanoes awakened, and earthquakes began. The gravity of the wormhole partially compensated for the loss of the moon's mass, and everything gradually subsided. But the damage was incredible. Cities lay in ruins. The economies of entire countries were destroyed. As we began to heal wounds and rebuild our cities, Humanity gradually came to its senses. We began to research the wormhole and learned a lot. But along with the knowledge came the terrible truth. Over time, the moon will be destroyed, and with it, life on Earth will disappear. Soon, dozens of automatic ships and satellites were sent into the wormhole. The best minds of mankind studied the data for months on end, and suddenly it turned out that this was a door to another world, to a world at the other end of the galaxy. Yes, it was hope. To find a new home, start all over again. Who knows what awaited us there, beyond. Maybe this is a chance. A chance to become more than we are. A chance to get answers to our eternal questions. Who are we? And where do we come from? And so we built a fleet, a great fleet, with millions of tons of metal shining in the sun and 2,000 hearts on board. We entered the wormhole and traveled through space. We were ready for what was next. God, you're alive. I thought that there was nobody left. How many of you have survived? Is anyone injured? It seems there's nothing left of the Heraclids. Only a small group survived. Two freighters and your team. One ship is heavily damaged while it's not clear what to do with it. The Carnegie, unfortunately, didn't survive. I think you can try to assemble a transceiver module. A small part of the wreckage has been thrown out of the wormhole. 
It seems to be Heraclid's. If we examine it, perhaps then we will find something useful. We need to check all the debris. We also need to check on one of the freighters, but so far we can't move. Our control and navigation are damaged. Will you check on the debris? In the hub, there should be enough construction kits for assembly hangar module and launching the probe. While you get started on this, we will evaluate the condition of the ships. Okay, guys, so here we are. Our first mission. And as you can see, the art style is beautiful. Look at this, where we're, wherever we are in the uh, the universe. So, it, like I said, it's a very uh, Meeple Station-esque, um, but it's a little bit more modern. And I think we can actually control these people later on down the line. Um, I know that there is a free DLC coming with this in the very near future. Uh, that's definitely going to bring more to do with the guards and training and stuff. Um, but there you go, here's the other people's ship that's damaged. Okay, so... We have a few missions. What I'm going to try and do is keep each mission um, kind of as an episode. So however long they take, they will take. So what we need to do is build life support machines. Okay, so there's quite a lot of options up here. You've got your construction, research, supply, crew, station storage, report, communications, connections, station interior, and menu. Um, down here, this will obviously give you what we have to do for the day. Uh, here we go, you got your construction kits and uh, your credits, we're not going to have any of that for a little while there. Sun radiations, uh, sun activity level, uh, you can see the sun rising, you can see the daytime, nighttime, etc, etc. Okay, build a small life support. Okay, so what we need to do first is get life support and that is correct. So th this life support module, and we can put them anywhere we want, um, I'm going to build them fairly small. Okay, so the life support module will give heat and oxygen around our main base. Okay, build solar panels as well. So if we go click on these, you can see we've got different stuff. We've got power here. Um, and we're going to throw... You can't throw off that end, apparently. Where are we? There we go. Has to be so far away because of the panels. So people, what they do, they don own the uh, spacesuits that they have here. Now they do... You can see they've got condition. Once they run out, they run out. They go out here and they're going to construct what we need to construct. Okay, we need to build the hangar as well. Uh, industrial, we've got the hangar. We need this for our probe, so let's throw this out here for now. I don't know, do we have a third spacesuit? We probably only have two by the looks of things. Uh, yeah. So inside that. Okay, so now this is done. Uh, we now need to go to the devices. We need to get a battery in here, and we need to put an ELD, which is your life support. This gives you uh, heat oxygen inside. Uh, as you can see here, Assembly completed. Ready each, for my next each hub will have a couple of stat bars. Uh, so you got your oxygen, your heat, etc. Uh, so as you'll see that these have no oxygen, no heat, uh, but I can't do nothing until they unpack this. So we'll have to wait for someone with a spacesuit to do that. Um, Probe and probe launcher. Okay, so let's speed this game up a little bit because I need the people to go and do these. Okay, perfect. Assembly completed. Ready for my next task. Okay, so we now have the hangar. That's good. As you can see, the oxygen and the heat just dropped. The green one is just like the the health. Um, and again, we need these to be unpacked. With the assembly and ready to proceed with the next one. But there's still no power. But what we can do while we're waiting, we go into connections. As you can see, this is a quick help guide. You have to use the connections to make sure you're all kind of sorted what you need. Logistics always goes back to your main hub, which is kind of like, I suppose, your main computer. Okay, so what we're going to want here is uh, heat. And this will only heat, basically, I think it can do two rooms. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the solar room. I don't think it's that important at the moment. Uh, we're going to make sure we heat this one. And then oxygen, it's going to give oxygen here, and oxygen over here. Okay, the only thing it now needs is a power source, um, but he hasn't finished building that yet. Uh, he will do in a second though. Okay, we go back into the building mode, we need devices, uh, we do need a probe, here we go. We'll get one of these out. And now we have the power, so if we go back to our logistics, and we now need to go to logistics. Power then. Okay, so it's going to get power from there, and it needs to power that. Okay. 
Now this will do quite a bit compared to these life support machines. Um, they're, they're not too bad. It all depends on how much uh, solar power you are getting. Okay, logistics. I'm sure that these had to be lined up as well. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So that will power this and that. You can see that the main hub itself has its own solar panel, but these are important to get other power going. Uh, we'll see this will start deteriorating um, if we start running low on power. But now that it's powered that up, you can probably see now that here we're starting to get oxygen and heat. Okay, we can now launch that probe. Okay, so the next one is get the group targets, go to auto for default probe scan resources in a row. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. You can click here for the different stuff you want it to uh, scan. We're going to put it on auto for now because it's not got too much to do. You can see now, once these oxygen meters start raising, um, you'll notice that the people will no longer use the space suits to go in and out of these rooms. They will if they need to go to the power room, um, but we shouldn't need to go in there again now. Uh, Henry Hogman wants us again. Okay, so. Well done. Our situation isn't good. One freighter is in critical condition. It will have to be completely disassembled. But then we may have enough resources to build a small station. Are you ready to start scanning? Oh, then it's better to search for supplies first. There are a lot of small debris and containers around. Scan those with a probe. There are probably valuable resources there. I only hope the probe doesn't let us down. Okay, so this now needs power. Okay, otherwise it's not going to do anything. Okay, logistics. Okay, we don't really need the help with that. We know what we're doing. Okay, so. I mean to click on that. Uh, power. So this does need power from here. Um, again, it should be more than fine. This should now be on automatic because it's one, it's getting power. So how the logistics works, there's power lines within these modules. So when you connect them, that's how they're doing it. Uh, as you can see here, probe ready. Someone should now come out here and start setting this probe to do what it needs to do. It needs to examine for deep debris. There you go. It's going to come off here. Look, there it is. How cool is that? And basically, it's now going to go scanning all these kind of items floating. And it will take out resources. And they'll also do the same with asteroids and other bits and pieces as well. But, okay, so we can't do much. We now are literally just waiting. That's what we're waiting for now. It's going to come back and find us all the bits that it needs to find. Still no oxygen or heat in here. Again, we're not worried about this module. We've got plenty of power. What we may put in, actually, while we're waiting is if we go to devices and furniture, get another one of these because we will need more rooms soon and we can't get any more oxygen or heat so while well, people aren't doing very much assembly completed okay so if we go back to our connections then and i believe that this does need a logistics Okay, so Henry wants us again. Well, you are indeed lucky. It looks like there are plenty of useful resources. I didn't want to tell you, as I thought we could handle it ourselves, but we have a serious problem here. The condition of most of our crew is poor. Fractures, injuries, burns. That's enough for now. Can you build a docking bay? We will send all injured people to you. Okay, so now it wants us to do a docking bay, um, so that's fine. We've got some new missions. We need to get a medical bay and a docking bay available. Okay, yes. So, medi bay, uh, we're going to throw that over here. Um, and we also need a hangar. No, not a hangar. We need a... Docking bay, and we're going to throw that one over here. Okay, so this takes up a large amount of space, so we're going to throw it here. Okay, now the people should go out and start building them. So 
but he wants to dock basically okay the medical bay is now sorted so now that that is sorted let's go to our logistics uh, because we need oxygen and it's going to need heat okay now I'll do for a second and in here Just wrapped up the assembly. Waiting for your orders. we now need to put some of these medicine bays in here I think what we'll do we'll put two for now okay so people will start doing what they need to do there uh, we need to go back to our logistics uh, this guy can heat this room as well and it should be able to give the oxygen as well there we go so still the only room that I've not done anything is the solar panel room they shouldn't go down there basically they should all just kind of hang around this end um, power I mean we're still doing fine for power there we go it is fine it is all working hang on okay the medical bays are built Why is that saying O2? Are you ready for us to send over our injured crew? We will fly them to you and they can dock with the station. Fortunately, there is a medic among the survivors. I'm sure he will be able to operate all the equipment. Okay, so now we're waiting for him to come and dock. See there, there's not a load of there you go, the oxygen is coming up. Assembly completed. Okay, we're waiting for him now to sort himself out. He should come in here very, very soon. So there is a free play mode of this. I thought once we get all the missions out of the way, maybe we'll do our own free play. Let's we'll see how we go. Okay, first aid. We just need to treat the people. We're just waiting on people now. Oh, he's coming from over there. Okay, so they're now docked, so they're going to start coming out and go straight into the medical bay. We'll have to treat all these people as the next mission here, they all come. They're going to go up there and wait now, the doctor's going to... Oh, they need power, hang on. Now, do they need logistics or not? I can't remember. No logistics. Okay, that's fine. We do have enough power, just... Um, hang on, it's saying no logistics. They do need logistics. They're just funny to click on. There we go. So, we should start healing them. Power is still okay. Uh, why are you going there? There's no oxygen, you muppet. Uh, they'll come in anyway, they would, wouldn't they? Okay, so they gave me two doctors. That was good. Bit of luck. medical help they need thank god people are the most important thing we've decided that staying in this location is a bad idea we will need to disassemble and move the station to another location only then can we start examining the wreckage 
We're still too close to the wormhole. Its radiation greatly weakens the structural strength of the station, and after a while, it just falls apart. Please start disassembling the modules while we prepare for towing the hub. Okay, so that's the only annoying thing. Whatever you build, it looks like at the end of the missions now, you have to uh, disassemble everything. And it is not easy, put it that way. So we've got to dismount these. Okay, we go. I, I think all these people are going to stay with us, so we can just start doing that. Where's our probe? Shame there's not a way you can just auto do it all. Lots of room and space. And you only get fifty percent of your stuff back. And this. Okay, so you gotta wait for everything to be dismount completed. Dismount completed. Okay, they should all go into the main hub bit. Module dismount completed. Module disassembled. On my way to the next task. This one's ready. Lots of room and space. This one's ready. Lots of room and space. This one's ready. Lots of room and space. Module dismount completed. Module dismount completed. Module disassembled. On my way to the next task. Excellent. Looks like we are ready to tow. We found a safe place to assemble a new station. The wormhole will be in direct line of sight and there will be no problems with communication. Hello, this is Adele. Adele Ashmore. Do you remember me? We met at the loading dock. I am so glad you survived. This situation is terrible. 2,000 colonists just disappeared. Among them were my friends, and now, now they're gone. It's simple. At the time of the disaster, I was in one of the cargo bays. Over the speakerphone, the captain announced an immediate evacuation, and everyone who was there jumped into the freighter. All I remember is that it shook so hard that I hit the bulkhead and lost consciousness. Yes, it seems. If I were on the bridge, we wouldn't be communicating with one another now. But we can talk about this later. Henry is now in the second freighter, coordinating the inspection of the Heraclid's wreckage. You can talk with him at any time via communication screen. Partially, life support, the reactor, and computers works. We placed a part of the crew there. They are still resting. Myself and the others are still collecting everything that remains of Heraclid's. We just found a whole bunch of useful debris. Please build a docking bay so that we can unload all this for you. Also, it seems you are running low on oxygen. Check the containers around you.
Okay, guys, so we finished this episode. Um, mission one is done. We've now moved a little bit further away. We now unlocked communications. Um, so we can actually talk to people when they're online, which is good. And uh, we're going to work on this on the next episode, see what we have to do. It's kind of good that they gave us a few things to start off with. Uh, it's not all bad. Uh, we just have to kind of get it all set up and working. If you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. I upload it every single day. And that for myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.